Good day everyone, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell button of my YouTube channel. So for this day, we are going to discuss some of the tricks na hindi itinuro sa school. So enjoy and happy watching. Again, please subscribe and click the bell button. The math trick for multiplying by 11. So let's now have 11 times 12. So what will be the technique? First, you are going to copy 12 here. We have 1 and 2. The other one, you are going to add 1 plus 2. That is 3. So therefore, 11 times 12 is equal to 132. Next, 11 times 54. So our technique, you are going to copy 54. 5, then you insert. You have 4. What is 5 plus 4? That is 9. So 11 times 54 is equal to 594. How about 11 times 67? So of course you are going to copy 6 and 7. Then you add 6 plus 7 is 13. So you have 3 here, 13. You add 1. So this will become 737. Because 1 plus 6 is 7. So therefore 11 times 67 is 737. 11 times 54 is 594. 11 times 613. So the technique you are going to copy 6 and the last 3. Since we have here 1 plus 3 is 4. 6 plus 1 is 7. So, therefore, 11 times 613 is equal to 6743. You have learning the 9 times table. So, as you can see, you have 9 times 1 is equal to 9 or 0, 9. 9 times 2 is equal to 18. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Up to 9 times 10 equals 90. As you can see, the pattern is from 9 times 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to nine then for the right side you have zero up to nine so to write the multiplication table of the nine times table so that is now the trick the pattern to have the table for nine let's now have multiplying by nine using your hands so our hands are very important to multiply by 9 so for example we have here uh, four 9 times 4 so for our illustration we are going to label 1 2 3 if this is our hand we are going to fold 4 so the remaining fingers here 1 2 3 you just write for 9 times 4 that is 3 then we have here the remaining if you are going to fold 4 so you can have 1 2 3 4 5 6 therefore 9 times 4 is 36 what if 9 times 7 so for 9 times 7 you are going to fold the seventh finger so we have to label 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 since 9 times 7 this will not be included so we have here the remaining fingers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are going to write 9 times 6. Then the remaining fingers after 7, you can have 1, 2, 3. So if you are going to fold the 7th, so the remaining is 3. Therefore, 9 times 7 is equal to 63. So your hands are very important for the tricks in multiplying by 9. Your math trick is multiplying large numbers in your head. Suppose 97 times 96. So for this problem, we are going to find the nearest whole number of 97 and 96. What is the nearest number? For 97, we can have 100. Then we subtract 100 minus 97 is equal to 3. The same with 96. 100 minus 96 is equal to 4. Then you add 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Since we have used 100 here, you have to get 100. 100 minus 7 
this is equal to 93. So you are going to attach here 93. That is our first two digit. The next two digit is you are going to multiply this one 3 times 4 from these numbers. So you can have 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So this 12 will be attached here. So therefore, 97 times 96 is equal to 9312. Now have the butterfly method for adding and subtracting fractions. So to add fractions, we can have butterfly method. So as you can see, if you are going to add 3 fourth plus 2 fifth, so we'll make here an illustration of the butterfly. So we have another one here. So first, from this one, you multiply 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Then you have 4 times 2, that is 8. So that is 15 plus 8 is equal to 23. Then we have here the last 4 times 5 for the two denominators, that is 20. Then you are going to affix here, the numerator here is 23 over 20. So this one. This is now the answer for 3 4 plus 2 5. 23 over 20. For subtraction, the same method, you have 3 times 5, that is 15. 4 times 2, that is 8. Since we have here minus sign, or that is subtraction, you have to subtract. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Then we have your denominator, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So therefore, the answer for 3 fourth minus 2 fifth is this one, our numerator 7 over 20 for this one. So this is now the answer for 3 fourth minus 2 fifth is equal to 7 over 20. So I hope you have learned a lot about math tricks. For more videos, you can click subscribe and the bell button of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from our math tricks. So for more videos, you can click subscribe and the bell button of my YouTube channel for some of the mathematics tricks. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.